All right, guys, what I got here is uh, the A and the B clutch drum and the hubs uh, to a 5 HP 24. And I just want to give you guys a um, couple of assembly tips. Uh, this is uh, an issue that I see because I actually help a lot of shops out and, and uh, after they overhaul it themselves or try to repair it themselves, um, I see one of two things that they normally did putting this back together. When I say try repairing it themselves, I mean just changing out, taking the front off and just changing out uh, the A clutch drum because it's bad. So on the A clutch drum, you have two rings here, okay, and you want to grease these in real good. Um, I use two different types of grease. I use the trains gel. Uh, the uh, blue is a little thinner, and I also use uh, the green, which is a little thicker. I tend to use maybe this more in the summer when it's really hot, uh, but I like to use the green for check balls and maybe some rings because you don't want these rings to come loose. Tolerance is very, very close, and the rings are are very small, very thin, and if you put the uh, piece on, you know, which is the stator, you put every slide, everything in the air check, and you're not even going to know that you tore these, or when you're putting it together, I should say, um, and you're putting the stator on, you're not even going to know that you tore them until you oil it and road check it and it doesn't work. So we have the rings here you got to be extremely careful of, and there's a very thin O-ring Actually, let me take it off and I can show it to you. There's a very thin O-ring here that seals also. And this O-ring tear, tears up a lot. You want to be very careful with this one. And what actually happens, let's put this back on, okay, so again, plenty of grease on that O-ring, and this is another real common problem, I see this a lot for, uh, you know, the shops that try to fix this stuff themselves. Okay, this is the B clutch drum, and the A clutch drum is going to seal on the outside here, there is a D-ring. Okay, and on the inside where that little skinny O-ring is going to sit, and you see it has splines here. And the O-ring, I'm sorry, the drum has to sit into these splines. So the first thing we're going to do is going to loop up the O-ring or that D-ring on the outside. Okay, and then we're going to loop this up on the inside where that skinny O-ring is, is going to sit. Okay, so we'll put some put some here and now the whole trick to this thing all right now we're going to put some that d-ring seals the outside right here so let's put this on okay the whole trick to putting this drum in because it has to go all the way down here, there's, there's a, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but there's splines that have to spline into those, spline into these here. Okay, that's how the drum sits. But you have to get this right on. And what I mean by that, oh, also before you put it together, make sure your clutch clearances are good and these are, are right on. <clears throat> And what you have to do is you have to just set this in and you have to push down. Okay, and if it's not lined up perfectly, then lift it back up again, turn it a little bit, and push it back down again. And you kind of have to do that until you have it set in place. Okay, that's still not good. Find the right spot.
Okay, so that's in. Now, the reason why I kind of pick this thing up, turn a little bit, pick it up, turn a little bit, is because that skinny O-ring is kind of passing uh, through that uh, splined area. And, and what a lot of guys do is say that the B clutch drum is here. A lot of guys do, they put the uh, drum into the B clutch drum. It doesn't, it, you know, it's not sitting right into the splines. So they push down on it and they turn it until they get it sit into splines. You know, they'll kind of go like this and eventually it'll go in. And doing that is gonna tear this O-ring up. And then what happens is you'll, uh, it'll slip in first or it'll run away on the one two shift immediately go into fail safe slip on the pull away immediately go into fail safe because this o-ring is torn so that uh, are the are the two main problems i see with uh you know other shops uh maybe some specialty shops uh even um we do a lot of work for a jaguar dealership and sometimes uh they purchase the parts from us and they try to fix it themselves. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it is a BMW specialty shop that I help out a lot. And uh, they just brought me one. Uh, they bring me the car to, to road test at first and I actually had a tow it here. Uh, and I said, you got an A-clutch problem. And they can't understand why that would be if they just fixed it. So when they pulled it apart, uh, they brought me the front section and the guy was here and this O-ring was all torn up and I showed them how you got to put this thing together. So you got to just find the right spot. Okay, and that's in. Okay, so we got these two together. So we're going to continue putting this whole front section together and we'll give it an air check. Okay, so now we got a washer. You got a couple of washers here, a couple of more here. Okay, so we're going to put the washer here. Put a little. This is the A clutch hub. there. Okay, and you can tell it's down. Bottoms out. Okay, here's the B clutch hub. Here's the bearing for that. So we're going to put that on. Give it a little grease. We'll put this on. cover on that holds it together. So we'll put a little grease around this uh, area where a bearing rides. This is the cover and this is actually the hub for the C drum. Okay, and there's little little notches right here. So you got to line that up. There's a couple of uh, openings, so but it's easy to do. You just line it right up, it'll drop right in. And then we have a snap ring. Okay, and that is the assembly. And here's one more uh, bearing. We'll be putting this on. That will go right on here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll slide the stator over. Might have to back this up a little bit. Okay, so now we got we got those O-rings. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, ceiling rings. They're scarf cut. 
we got those uh, uh, held in pretty good with the uh, the thicker grease, the green one, and then I just put a little put a little more on it, and then we'll slide this down. Okay, and now uh, I actually forgot to turn the air on, so just give me a sec. I'll be right back. All right, so now we're gonna air check this, and I believe the uh, B drum. Uh, do air check right here. I like to hold this thing down because one of these, I think when you check air check the A drum, if you don't hold it down, things gonna take off like a rocket. Okay, this is the B. I guess you can hear that uh, clutch being applied. Okay, and the A. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna give it a little air, but uh, thing will probably uh, pop up. I won't hold it down like I normally do. And this is the A drum. See that? That thing, you don't hold that thing down, that thing's gonna take off on you. So that seems okay. Air check's good. And now the last uh, thing that I wanted to say is um, this uh, open face bearing, the race, Races inside this cover. Races inside this cover where the C clutch drum is, uh, the C clutch hub, and the bearing. Well, actually, let me just say this: this bearing rides in here. It sits on the C drum, and it rides in here. And this bearing very frequently goes bad. So you really want to look at this. Out of all the bearings in the unit, this one uh, goes bad quite often. I know some people that change this as a, a standard overhaul procedure. Um, so you want to look at it real close. It sits in here. Uh, the open face bearing part sits on the C clutch drum and the race sits in here. The race is kind of locked in there and you'd have to kind of get some screwdrivers in there to get it out. But it does spin in here. So you want to be Pay real close attention to this, to this bearing here. That goes bad quite often. Okay, so that's uh, really about it for this one. I just want to give you guys some assembly tips on this uh, 5HP24. Uh, this is kind of what I see uh, from people, you know, that have some experience doing this, um, trying to repair this stuff themselves. Uh, again, I see these rings. You got to grease these rings in real good. Okay, I would use the trans gel. I wouldn't use like high temperature wheel bearing grease because when you put it back in the car and you start it up and the transmission starts to heat up, the grease is going to melt and then the rings will just be left. So I would always use this assembly loop. This is pretty good stuff. And the green, uh, the green assembly loop is thicker and I use this for check walls and uh, rings like this. These are very, very uh, frail rings. You got to be very careful when you're handling them. Make sure they're totally closed because when you slide it into the stator, you're not even going to know that you tore it until you start the thing up and, and start driving and it doesn't drive correctly. And that A clutch drum, you got to find the right spot and just push the thing in. Don't kind of turn it to get those splines in. You're going to tear that skinny O-ring. And again, you will have uh, uh, some kind of an issue on takeoff. It might make a 1-2 shift, run away in the 1-2, going to fail safe, or you'll hit the gas, it'll fall right out of speed, race up and go into fail safe. All right, so that's about it on the assembly tip for the uh, 5HP24 for the A clutch drum. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.